KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227 or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you. studio with the late Patty Fink and Leron Landis. Uh, Josh is at the board. Doc is on the phones. Uh, Jean is waiting to get out of the studio. Lots of people here today. Uh, it is pledge drive still. It is. Uh, we still need about $24,000 or we did as of yesterday morning. So we're getting there. We're getting there. But we still need about $24,000. It is pledge drive 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. Give us a call. And even Not, the, Oh, go ahead. No, <laughs> <laughs> In sync. <laughs> yes. Great minds think alike. We're so anxious to just let everybody know we still need your help. And, you know, David mentioned $24,000. We don't need $20, $24,000 from one individual, though that would be spectacular. <laughs> we need to... We need multiple uh, donations from everyone to make the $24,000 goal. So whatever you're able to pledge, we would be greatly appreciated. Give us a call at 972-647-1893. And, you know, KNON has been supporting LGBT radio uh, with Lambda Weekly for 30 years. We've been on the air since August of 1983. And um, we need to show our support back, um, and we hope that our listeners will follow through and uh, call in a pledge, whether it's ten dollars, twenty five dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, you know, twenty dollars every month would be great. We do bank drafts, and uh, you can um, pay by credit card or by check. Um, and so, give us a call nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Okay, we have um, a very special pledge premium this time. For a fifty dollar pledge, you get a Dash for the Beads Run Registration Pack. Have you ever done Oak Cliff Mardi Gras? I have not. Have you? No, I have not. Shame on both of you. You need to do it. It is so much fun. Uh, the fifth annual Dash for the Beads 5K Run One Mile Walk Costume Contest and Festival has donated a limited number of run registration packs to KNON to help us raise money during our pledge drive. This is a kid kid friendly event. You have a kid? I do. It's kid friendly. And I think I think we talked about this last time. I think I'm going to try and take you. I think you show. should. Fifty bucks and uh, donation, and it pays for your all your registration to this. Um, you're not kid friendly. Yeah, no. Patty, oh, hey. Patty hates children. Um, but <laughs> like this kids. is a kid friendly event with a costume contest uh, and categories for pets and people, uh, heated beer gardens and beads. Kanoen will have a booth at this year's Dash for the Beads event Saturday morning, March first, eight a.m. to one p.m. Kid Springs Park in Oak Cliff. We have three registration packs good for the walk or the 5K run. Pledgers pick up packs at the Run On Store, 5400 Mockingbird Lane after February 24th. You'll need an ID. We'll just have your name over there. Uh, more info is at dashforthebeads.com. Please leave this form within your pledge envelope. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to read that. <laughs> uh, but if you, for a $50 pledge, you get your registration for all this. Dash for the Beads is so much fun. And if you're worried that it's not a gay event, all run by the gays. Um, <laughs> it, it is. Um, Canoen Mardi Gras Gumbo Party is Sunday, March 2nd. Doors open at 5 p.m. serving at 5 to 7 p.m. at Poor David's Pub, 1313 South Lamar. It's featuring gumbo from a whole variety of uh, restaurants, uh, live music from the Zydeco Stingrays. And for $50, I have two sets of these to give away. For a $50 pledge, you get two tickets or $75 gets you a pair of tickets and a t-shirt credit card, debit, or walk-up only. 
names will be at the door. So we have two two of those tickets. Um, that's the K N O N Mardi Gras Gumbo Party Sunday, March second. Poor David's Pub. There's gumbo from Amber Jacks and Bayou Jacks and Fishbone Grill, Pierre Mardi Gras Cafe, Culpepper's Steakhouse, a whole bunch more. Give us a call at 972 647 1893. The doctor is standing by. <laughs> well, this has been a big week in uh, a huge week. marriage equality news. Okay, so the end of the year, uh, Laron, you and I are doing the wrap up. And I said, I don't know what state is going to be number uh, 20. I don't know which state is going to be number um, 20, 20. 1, 20, 21, 20. But I know Mississippi is going to be 25. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that based on, based on this week's uh, lawsuits that were filed. Alabama is going to be the one that's number 25. Okay. Okay. Mark, mark your words. Well, Mississippi has a lawsuit going also, but this one's stronger. And Louisiana filed. Louisiana has filed. But the biggest ones this week, Kentucky. And just before we get going on yeah. all of this, I thought it was fascinating this week that in the midst of our uh, um, unhappiness with Sochi, Sochi was not the focus in nope. the LGBT world this week at, at all. all. At all. At all. Um, but it was uh, rapidly moving stuff. And in fact, there was one morning where it was almost hourly, mm -hmm. almost hourly mm -hmm. for several hours. Yep. It wasn't even lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And all kinds of stuff had happened um, oh, yeah. on, the, on the legal landscape. So let's kick it off. Um, Kentucky is what kicked off the week. Mm -hmm. And they had a lawsuit. It was bought, brought by uh, two guys, Greg and Michael. Greg, uh, people here know from the Boy Scout protests. He was here in Dallas. Uh, protesting the Boy Scouts policy uh, and he was here with his two kids um, and they filed a suit challenging Kentucky's law but it this one wasn't to throw out the whole law this is just to force Kentucky to recognize marriages performed elsewhere so what happened the judge threw it out the judge threw it out. <laughs> <laughs> liberal judges you know what's fascinating most of these judges who were uh, issuing these rulings were George H.W. Bush appointees. And you know, the Family Research Council this week has just, their heads have been exploding. Mm -hmm. And I've been, you know, of course, subscribing to their stuff for years. Mm -hmm. uh, but they put out this one, and they're actually blaming Mitch McConnell, mm -hmm. who's the minority leader in the United States Senate from Kentucky. Why are they um, blaming him? I think it's his fault. Th that it's his fault. He should have seen 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, when he um, basically you know, recommended this judge to George H.W. Bush, mm -hmm. who then appointed him, that he should have known that he would be an activist judge mm -hmm. 20 plus years later. Mm -hmm. And so it's his fault, and it he is. has betrayed the party. He, he has. has betrayed traditional values. He has. Oh, He's betrayed oh all of this God. stuff. Absolutely. So, I mean, this is desperate. Absolutely. They are he desperate. They, they are incredibly desperate. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I blame it on Mitch McConnell, too. You know who else I blame? Who? Ronald Reagan. You blame Ronald Reagan mm -hmm. for this? Mm -hmm. But he's a demigod. How can you do that? I, I can. I just can. <laughs> <laughs> and the other big ruling this week actually overturned in a, a ban entirely. Mm -hmm. That's in Virginia, a home of loving versus the state of Virginia. So here we go again. Um, now, in, in her ruling, she did quote loving uh, v. Virginia. She did. Yeah. And she also quoted, once again, Antonin Scalia. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, and what she quoted, David and I were talking about this before the show, um, he wrote a dissent, so you would be wondering why did she quote a dissent. Um, but she what she quoted from him in his dissent, I understand why, and here it is. This is from Antonin Scalia in his dissent in the Windsor case. Um, As I have said, the real rationale of the Windsor opinion is that DOMA <coughs> is motivated by bare desire to harm couples in same-sex marriages. How easy it is, indeed, how inevitable to reach the same conclusion with regard to state laws deny same-sex couples marital status. And he's right. Mm -hmm. He didn't mm -hmm. like it, or he doesn't like that that would happen, but he's right. Mm -hmm. Do you know who else she quoted? Who? Abraham Lincoln. Now, Abraham Lincoln is not well known, but he was a marriage equality uh, supporter. supporter. Oh, really? OK. Oh, oh yeah, big you marriage equality learn supporter. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Do you know that's what the Civil War was actually fought over? OK. Yeah, same-sex marriage. All right. Uh -huh. 
because we had it in the north. Didn't I have to tell Danny he needs to quit telling otherwise yeah. in his history class. Uh, he's telling wrong. <laughs> uh, but what she quoted Lincoln as saying almost 154 years ago as Abraham Lincoln approached the cataclysmic rending of our nation over a struggle for other freedoms, a rending that would take his life and the lives of hundreds of thousands of others, he wrote these words. It cannot have failed to strike you that these men ask for just the same thing, fairness, and fairness only. This, so far as, so far as in my power, they and all others shall have. So what she's saying in her ruling is, I'm just giving people what's fair. Right. Pretty it's much. It's not special. Right. What, what's, what, I, I, you know, people talk about, oh, you always want special rights. Well, no. No. The special rights today belong to heterosexuals. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, you know, and primarily um, heterosexual white Christians. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That have the most the most rights. They, they hate when uh, somebody like that quotes Lincoln, though. He was a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> totally different kind, though. Uh, but you know, uh, yeah. we have been wondering what state, what southern state, is going to be the first to have same-sex marriage. And as it looks, it looks like Virginia will be. Mm -hmm. So good for them. Yeah, because yep. there's a stay on the Virginia. Kentucky, I know there's a stay. Virginia, there's a stay too. Yes, yep. there is. Yep. Absolutely. But nobody's appealing. Who's appealing that one? The governor is not. The attorney general is not because they have new a new governor, new attorney general. Oh, that's general. true. But she did, she did say there was an immediate stay. And, and the Prop 8 case said you have to have standing. In other words, right. I know Josh, who, who runs our board, uh, I know Josh is completely against uh, equality. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Josh with his wife and seven children, uh, he can't go to the court. And, oh, you don't have a wife and so I thought he did. Uh, but he would not be able to go to the court and say, I'm against it. Right. He, he cannot. Because he has no standing. It doesn't affect him in any way. Right. Right. So, do you know, I heard this uh, one person, he was on NPR, uh, on the news. And um, when the attorney general first said he wasn't going to support it, it sounded like the worst answer in the world at first. And then it actually turned into the best answer in the world. They asked him if he, um, what he thought about the Attorney General not supporting or not defending this law, and he said, I don't care. He said, it doesn't affect me. And I thought, boy, that's a bad answer at first, but then he went on to explain, I don't know any gay people, it's not going to affect my marriage, it has nothing to do with me, so why should I care? <laughs> but he's right. He's absolutely I mean, if right. everybody who it didn't affect said, I don't care, it doesn't affect me. That well, was the right answer. Well, I have a problem with the folks out there who are saying that, the, on the right wing, that are saying that we're infringing on their rights by wanting our rights. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't even How see so? it. I don't see it because even if you disagree with our existence, we're not harming you in any way, you know, just because we want to marry or we want to be able to keep a job. And I You're saw, not losing anything. I saw not that argument on the website of one of the Republicans who's running for... Senate against um, Cornyn, and she explained it as she's for less government and and less government interference, and she supports DOMA or did while it was legal, but now we have something that's interfering with her right basically to discriminate. She used different words than that, but that's. What her but that's what it always comes down to. Uh -huh. Because if they have their beliefs, they can carry on their beliefs, but they don't have to impose it in law, codified law, that says that we have to impose your religious beliefs as law of the land. And that's what they want to do. They're not willing to just have their beliefs and say, I believe differently than you. Right. They want to infringe upon our, our rights and, and curtail our rights mm -hmm. and stop our rights. Mm -hmm. And while they keep their, all of theirs. And because they, they want the government to do that. Yeah. And there's no, that the government has no interest in of doing so. Why? Because you're infringing on their right to discriminate. Mm. I, it, because if you go to the um, 47th Amendment to the Constitution, <laughs> that's the one that gives you the right to discriminate. Oh. I thought it was the 147th. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. Maybe it is. Oh. It is pledge drive, speaking of discrimination, um, because we're the station that doesn't, um, <laughs> except against people who think that they should be able to discriminate. And that is one thing that discriminate that dis distinguishes us doesn't discriminate us it distinguishes us from other stations. You know, we get calls all the time. You see, 
the left-wing liberal media. Yep. <laughs> One station out of 63 here in the Dallas market. Um, but it is Pledge Drive, 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. Give us a call. KNON's monthly expenses in 2014 total about $46,000 a month. Uh, some of our monthly expenses are tower lease. Without the tower, the signal doesn't go out. That's $4,600. Now, our portion of that, since there are 60, how many shows are there on the station? About 60. About, about 60 that. shows. Um, if you divide 4,600 by 60, that's not even $100 per show that we need. But we do need that $100 Absolutely. in order to support the tower. Um, Accounting, tax, audit fees is $2,679. The office rent is $2,269. Divide each of these by 60, it's not that much. But our portion of each of these is about $100. Some of them are maybe only $50. But we need your help to, uh, to do that. We need to raise about $600 on this show. We still have a couple of hundred dollars to go. Give us a call, 972-647-1893. That's 647-1893. Every bit counts. So if you can if you can chip in 10 bucks or 20 bucks or $25, we have some premiums for um, various amounts that you can um, receive T-shirts or aprons. It's a big big favorite of mine, the apron, um, the Kano and apron. But we have lots of lots of stuff to uh, to share with you as premiums for your pledge. And you can pledge online as well. It's really easy. You can go to knon.org and pledge there. You can select your your pledge premiums there. And in the in the note where you're going to give credit to a show, please put Lambda Weekly or if you can't spell Lambda, just put you know, LW. That the LW show. or that big gay show or that big queer show. We're the and only ones. Yeah, we're we're it. But um, you know, give give or us that some big credit. Late show. That big late show. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and we always push some of the premiums, like, of course, the T-shirt and the backpack and stuff like that. But there's some other great premiums, like, you know, summertime. Well, springtime is coming. Warmer weather. Yay. And today is the day to experience yeah. it. Wow, is it pretty outside. So what does that mean? People wearing ball caps. We have a, a K&OM ball cap. You will stand out and look so cool for only $40 uh, pledge. And also, what are you doing in springtime in the summer? You barbecue, you need that barbecue apron. We do, we do. What's what's the premium? Uh, also, for just that? $40. So give us a call. We have other premiums, 972-647-1893. Um, you know, I love that you always give us a list of reasons that you should pledge. And this year's list has got, we have 42 reasons. I'm, I, I like this one. KNON Community Radio is real people presenting real radio, not a mandatory pre-selected playlist. The other radio stations, according to this, are fake people presenting fake radio. We're the only <laughs> real radio station, so support us. 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. KNON depends on listener support to stay on the air, and now is the time for you to help keep this show on the air. If you like what you're hearing and want to show your appreciation for great community radio, pick up the phone and call to make a pledge. Call 972-647-1893 or go online to KNON.org. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Without the support of our listeners, there won't be any community radio on the air in North Texas. So take a few minutes to make a pledge. Call 972-647-1893 or go online to knon.org. Hi, this is Patty Fink, and you're listening to Lambda Weekly on 89.3 KNON-FM. And this is Lambda Weekly. I'm Dave Taffet here in the studio with the late Patty Fink and Lauren Landis. Before we go to the entertainment report, it is Pledge Drive. The phones aren't ringing. 972-647-1893. Remember, we're real radio as opposed to fake radio everywhere else. No, what, <laughs> what they mean by that is that we come up with our own programming. We don't have, uh, we don't have executives here unless you want to call Dave Chaos, our station manager and executive. I think he said executive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's an executive that allows free range. Yes, he does. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, we don't use market consultants. We, uh, every DJ plays his own music. Uh, the talk shows come up with their own topics. It's, it's what we hear people are interested in hearing about. 
Um, we're volunteers. We're volunteers on the air, twenty four seven. All of our shows. Nobody's a professional at, at this. The Kano one's not paying them to be on the air. We've never been on. We've been on for thirty years, and not mm-hmm. once has anyone been paid. And so, um, you know, we're. I think we're pretty pretty good. Yeah, we're not professionals mm-hmm. in, this, in that sense, but. Um, we do come up with our own programming, and it's it's conversations and guests and topics you won't hear elsewhere, even on LGBT radio on those big stations. Yeah. Oh, they're mostly talking about junk. You know, Pretty much. And satellite and all of, all of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about dating and things like that on, on most of those and shows. fashion shows uh-huh. and the Kardashians. Right. We have local organizations that come on the air here. And um, and well, talk uh, about events in our community. Or like last week when um, Frank Schaefer was on. He's the Methodist minister who was defrocked by his uh, denomination. This is the only gay show he's been on. That's amazing. Yeah. So, and he was a, he was a, an amazing guest. An amazing and I hope guess. he'll come back. Yeah, yeah, he will. And hopefully we'll have his son on soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably by phone, but still we'll have him on. 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. Um, we have lots and lots of expenses here at the station. Our expenses amount to about $46,000 every month. And unlike some other non-commercial stations, we really do raise most of it from our listeners. So give us a call, 972-647-1893, and support community radio, because without your support, we won't be here. That's right. That's right. What do we do the entertainment report while Doc answers the phone? Ah, well. All right, this is shaping up probably to be one of the biggest weeks in sports news for our community. Uh, Missouri Tigers defensive end Michael Sam, a solid NFL draft pick, uh, or who should be a solid NFL draft pick, came out this past Sunday. Um, Mr. Sam is 24 years old. He was um, the Associated Press's SEC Defensive Player of the Year. That is huge. And he's eligible for the draft in May, leading to the possibility that Sam could be uh, become NFL's first openly gay player in his nearly 100-year history. Again, first openly. And he's a Texan. Openly, and mm-hmm. he's a Texan. His father lives here in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, now, so that Applebee's that his father went out drinking at when he found out his son was gay here in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have, I, I, I have some follow-up on that. Mm-hmm. But um, it, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's not just, oh, this is just a gay player. Um, because he's not the first gay player in, that would be in the NFL or even in college sports or college football, but he would be the first openly. And, I mean, there's there's just so much admiration I have and other people I have for this young man. Um, I, would have even, I would have even understood had he waited to get drafted first and then come out. No, he did it before. Right. So, and, and to be sure, there have been NFL players who have come out after they've – Completed their careers. Uh, yes, after they completed their careers. You know, there's S- uh, Sarah Twala and, and uh, David mm-hmm. Cope. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. um, and quite a few others. There's quite a few others. Um, and and they, then it's all been after their careers. Right. And so, this is before his career, this actually. This is before his career. Mm-hmm. But the, the thing is, what makes this one, I guess, a little extra special is because he's not just even your average player. I mean, he won Defensive Player of the Year. That is huge. I would even think that's that's probably a bigger accomplishment had he won that in the NFL because there are so many teams in college sports. I mean, in college football. I mean, there's a gazillion. I can't even tell you all the teams. There's a gazillion of them. So for him to be chosen as the number one, it's huge. Uh, And it's just a total, um, I don't know, in the face of the people who say that gays can't play sports, particularly uh, football. Well, he just proved you wrong. Mm-hmm. The manly man sport. The manly right? man sport. As a matter of fact, one, uh, I don't have his name, but one of the, and he's gotten some pushback already, as expected, but he's gotten a lot of support also. Yeah, and the pushback is, oh, he's going to be in the locker he's gonna room. He's going to be in the locker room. But well, there are guy, women in the locker room. I know, I know. Women but that's, I know, I know, but that's not a problem. It, and, and you know what? Guess what? The showers are not, it's not a high school. The showers aren't this big, massive shower. They have individual stalls. Mm-hmm. So if you're worried about it. Well, and they're professionals. Come on. Oh, there's that, Seriously? too. Yeah, uh-huh. there's that, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, one guy, some other college football player, said that he has no problems with gays, but being gay, 
I mean, you, in order to play football, it's a man's sport, and being gay is not not being a man. Oh, really? So, so how do you explain this? Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted. How do you explain this? And the Cowboys have said they would piling on top of each other on the field on TV. Hmm, yeah, that's real straight. In matching capri <laughs> pants. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, tight capri pants. Uh-huh. <laughs> Color coordinated. <laughs> that. Please. They smack each other on the butt as compliments. That's mm-hmm. right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. But the Dallas Cowboys have said they would welcome him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for the folks who were out there saying, uh, you know, the anonymous coaches and officials in the NFL saying, you know, oh, no, no team will take him. It'll be too much of a distraction. Distraction, my... Yeah. No. He'll, you know, he'll get which, picked up. Whichever team picks him automatically picks up millions of fans across the country. Yes. Millions? Mm-hmm. millions. And do you know what that translates into in merchandise sales? Money. Yep. 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 Now, you mentioned his father earlier. Mm-hmm. When this first story first broke, Mr. Sam's father, whose also name is Michael Sam, supposedly said that um, he didn't want his grandkids to be raised in that kind of environment. He said he was so upset that he couldn't eat anymore, so went to, he went to Applebee's to have drinks. Well, he's come out and saying that that is not what he said. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let's see here, the football star, uh, he said that he... He went to JR's for drinks. He's, <laughs> he said that he was misquoted, and that said that he he was surprised when he found out, but he thought that his son handled himself well with the media, and he was proud of him, and always has been proud of him. You know what? His father is not media savvy. The media pounded pounced on him. Um, he just found out his kid was gay. He didn't have his whole life to absorb that information the way Michael Jr. did. Uh, and come out the way he wanted to. Right. Um, you know, and if he made some stupid comments to the press, he's not an educated man. You know, so be it. I can deal with that, but I, I would be a little irritated too if I was just totally misquoted. Well, I, that's the first I'd heard that he was misquoted, but I'm saying yeah. even if all of those quotes were accurate, oh well, they, they weren't that terrible. They, they just weren't. Mm, I, th- I thought they were pretty bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and. Had, if they were true, I, 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 I don't cut much slack for that. That's just me. But people change. People, and people can't. It's not to say he can't change and learn and grow. Well, he seems to have within two weeks. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, less than two weeks. He's just making, a week. Yeah. You know, he's making completely different statements. Maybe he realized, ooh, my son's going to have this multi million dollar contract. contract. Exactly. Ooh, we don't want to be on his bad side. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Exactly. Especially my other kids aren't going to help me. Two are in prison and one disappeared. Yep. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But the other big story that's come out of this uh, outing is here locally, our very own um, sportscaster, been around for how long has Dale Hansen been here? Right? Uh, uh, 35 25, years. 35 years? Uh, about 35. Um, I wasn't really surprised what he did. And what he did, if you haven't seen it, if you've been under a rock, he made his commentary. He's known for stepping outside of the box and – you know, expressing his own opinions about various issues. That's what has separated him from other sportscasters locally. And he totally supported Mr. Sam and why the NFL should support him. And if you haven't seen it, go it's Google powerful. it. It's powerful. And it's the best two minutes and 15 seconds I've seen in a long time. Do you know what? I loved his opening statement. And, and it just kind of goes by where he says, we heard something shocking this week that the right. number one uh, defensive whatever he is. And? Uh, Thank you. End. It is uh, is a third to fifth round draft choice. Right. Really? really? <laughs> exactly. exactly. And then that other thing too. And he's right. And, oh, and there was that other. He thing. should be a first round. So. Well, and if not first, first or second. Yeah, exactly. First or second. But so. but he'll get picked up. Um, and we're you know, it, we're one of the cities where when he talked about the things that really are distractions. That things that that um, the NFL apparently embraces and accepts. Mm-hmm. That's people charged with DUIs, people mm-hmm. who kill other people, mm-hmm. people can be charged who have, with murder, have beaten uh, their wives, um, and that's just all on the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> it I'm, is. Okay. <laughs> um, and, and we have a lot of experience with all, that. All joking aside, these things mm-hmm. have actually happened, and these players are still embraced. That, the DUI trial. They keep their jobs. Just, yeah, the DUI jobs. trial was just a couple of weeks ago. Have they even um, sentenced him yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. so. Um, you know, um, I, a Pittsburgh quarterback was accused of rape about three or four years ago. Mm-hmm. Paid the woman off. He's still back on the field and still celebrated. I mean, mm-hmm. so those things are okay. But like Dale Hansen said, 
you have one that just happens to love another man, oh, that's not okay. Mm-hmm. And I loved his, his, his statement where he talked about um, that I don't understand his world, mm-hmm. um, but I, I do know that he's part of mine. Mm-hmm. I know. That was That was brilliant. just such a great It was. Great it was line. brilliant. That's the line Ellen liked when he was on Ellen. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, so. you can find that online also. Really, mm-hmm. really good appearance. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and we talked about this at work. I don't know Dale Hansen's um, party affiliation. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. But the, but, um, the fact but, that you don't tells you that he's a good sports journalist. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, I think probably, like he said on Ellen, you probably assume a big, fat white guy from Texas is very conservative and has, you know, very... Um, uh, discriminatory opinions, and that's not the case. So, it, very, very good. I highly encourage everybody to go watch it. And Just he is two minutes long. But he it's is great. now the the poster boy for the uh, as he called it, old fat white guys mm-hmm. <laughs> right, um, right. from Texas yep. who don't believe that way, mm-hmm. who are supportive and um, you know inclusive. I hope he gets drafted by Houston. Houston had a really, really crappy season. So they get like the first pick. Do you know so I, think, I think it would be great for mayor, the mayor of Houston, like to nudge mm-hmm. the Houston Texans to get him on. Do you know who had great. some of the worst statements? The team that had the worst statements, who? San Francisco. They get were out of here. They were horrible. Get they were horrible. Here. Any self-respecting gay person in San Francisco who goes to see one of their games this year. How can you exist in San Francisco and be homophobic? Because they think that they have no gay fans going to their games. Oh, that's, that's just ludicrous. Ludicrous. Oh, wow. So we wish nothing but the best for Michael Samuel. We will be following as closely as the rest of the country will also. And know, the draft won't happen for a couple of months. But, for a couple um, of months, but when it does happen, it will be national news. So. And we'll be talking about it again, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. Do you know what he did that was real smart by coming out? Had you ever heard his name before, Patty? No. Had no. You, Laurent, okay. and, I, and I and I watch sports. Now, um, Josh watches sports nonstop, and he knew him. Okay. <laughs> you got one on me, Josh. But other than that. Along with my wife and kids. Right, along with his <laughs> wife and kids. <laughs> Seven kids. Mm-hmm. But we didn't know him. We didn't know him. Right. So He's yeah. he's an immediate celebrity. Absolutely. <laughs> if, if he's picked up, uh, actually, when's he doing the show? Do you know we tried to get him for an interview for Dallas Voice. He is not doing any interviews. He has stopped. That's cut off. He did the New York Times, Out Sports, and ESPN, and that was it. And that's you know what? That's probably a good decision right now. We know you said all you needed to say. Mm-hmm. Let's just watch right. and see and, and see what happens. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And, and we weren't even looking for a full interview, just a couple of comments or something. Yeah. Not doing anything. Uh-huh. Um, it is Pledge Drive. You can become a KNON Elite Music Sponsor. Get a pair of tickets to every KNON benefit for the year. KNON has 40 to 50 shows every year. We're your live music radio station. We play great music on your radio and bring great music to local stages. Don't miss any of our shows with the Elite Music Sponsor Package. <clears throat> All kinds of things throughout the year, um, everything, things at Herman Hall, things at Poor David's Pub. There's the can and breakfast at, uh, in the live music room, uh, crawfish boils, uh, the Mardi Gras parties, everything that we do uh, throughout the year. They're a lot of fun. It's a $500 pledge, gets you and gets your name plus one guest on the permanent guest list for all KNON events for an entire year. You don't even have to do anything. Your names are just there. Yes. And yeah. you'll also receive any two KNON pledge items of your choosing. So you can get a t-shirt, you can get a... Um, a jumbo umbrella, you can get a backpack, KNON coffee, an apron, you know, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. All, all the stuff on this sheet. <laughs> that there's is, a lot. It's written Hold in small print. Uh, I'm holding it up to the... Um, uh, to the camera for people who are watching us on video podcast uh, so that they can see oh yes there's a lot of stuff um, give us a call 972-647-1893 phones are not ringing and doc why aren't you answering the phone uh, get the phone to ring oh, oh sure put it back on us you go, you go doc put it back on us thanks a lot doc um, 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. And a great way to, to support Lambda Weekly and to support KNON is to do a bank draft. So you can contact the station. Just give us a call. Give us enough information that we can get back in touch with you. And 
um, someone from the station will probably call you during the week and set it up. You'll get the information to, uh, to do that. But it's a great way to support um, um, not only Lambda Weekly but KNON because it's, it's um, sustaining income for the, yeah. for the station. And so they know that your $10 a month is coming in or your $30 a month. And $30 is only a dollar a day, really. So you know, not so much for February, <laughs> but you know, overall, you know, a dollar a day. So if you you can pledge 30, 30 bucks a month or ten dollars a month, dollars a month, thirty one dollars a month would certainly cover the entire year. Um, you know, give us a call nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. One of the pledge premiums that we have this time, uh, and we need to hear from some of our cliffies, from our cliff dwellers. Uh, Dash for the Beads is going to be on March 1st, Saturday, March 1st, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's in Kid Springs Park in Oak Cliff. Uh, the fifth annual Dash for the Beads 5K Run, One Mile Walk, Costume Contest, and Festival has given us a number of tickets. So for a $50 pledge, you can be registered as well as making your pledge to KNON. So give us a call, 972-647-1893. If you haven't been to Dash for the Beads or Mardi Gras, which is on Sunday. And you know, I was saying, are you going to be in the parade this year? And we were all saying, oh, yeah, let's be in the parade. It's during our show. Oh. Because our time slot was lovely. changed. We used to be on on Sunday, so we can't do it this year. But we'll cheer it on I'm from sad. the air. We'll cheer it on. I love that parade. It's, it's such a fun parade to do. 972 647 1893. That's 972 647 1893. Give us a call. You got KNON depends on listener support, and now is the time for you to help keep this show on the air. If you like what you are hearing and want to show appreciation for your community radio station, then pick up the phone and call to make a pledge. Call 972-647-1893 or go online to KNON.org. Don't wait for someone else to do it. Without the support of our listeners, there won't be any community radio on the air in North Texas. So take a few minutes to make a pledge. Call 972-647-1893. 71893 or go online to knon.org. KNON thanks you for your support. And welcome back to Lambda Weekly. I'm Dave Taffet here in the studio with the late Patty Fink and Laron Landis. It is Pledge Drive here at KNON. We needed as of yesterday 24,000 something dollars. I bet the something has come in already. So we needed about twenty-four thousand uh, dollars to go to to wrap up pledge drive. We're trying to wrap it up faster this time than we've been wrapping it up. Give us a call nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. That's nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Just wanted to go ahead and finish up uh, some more entertainment news. Michael Sam wasn't the only one who came out this week. Actress Ellen Page came out in a suite in Class Away on Valentine's Day, yep. um, making a speech at an LGBT youth conference hosted by HRC. The once Academy Award nominated actress for her role in Juno told the crowd that she was tired of hiding and tired of lying by omission. She also cited Michael Sam and Laverne Cox from um, Orange is the New Black as the two inspirations for her decision to come out publicly. Hmm. I'm very excited that she came out. I am too, she's so adorable. And I know she, she's, she's, what, 24, 26? 26. 26. I know she probably doesn't want to be called adorable, but I just think she is. She still looks like a little kid. Well, I've always thought that she was gay, but I also always thought that she was like a teenager. I mean, I, no, she's never aged in my, no, in she, my she, views. She, I was she, like, she's 26. She she's looks the exact same as she did when she did the movie, which is what, <laughs> like 10 years ago? Yeah. It's been a while. She's so, done a lot of work, though. She's she has. a good body of work. She has. So good for her. Uh, the homophobic note that went viral regarding a mother's uh, sending a two gay dads uh, response and their invitation. Um, it, I to know you saw it, party. Patty. Yeah. These two it's a birthday birthday party. It's a birthday party. Two guys uh, send out birthday invitations for their daughter. A mom responded in an incredibly homophobic way, saying that Tommy will not attend. I don't believe in what you do, and you will not subject my innocent son to your lifestyle. Well, unfortunately and fortunately, that has turned out to be a hoax. Um, and it was done by two radio DJs up in New York. They have posted an apology on the station saying that we were attempting to spur healthy discourse in a highly passionate topic, but we made the mistake by misleading our listeners into thinking that this specific situation actually existed. So lie, to outright yeah, that, lie, that, that, that's not spurring conversation, no, it's that's really lying. Not. That's just flat out lying and it really, really upsets me because so you're saying I shouldn't have said Josh is married with seven kids? No, no. Oh, okay. No. 
darn, I am. But you know, they, they were so well, we, far. Could, we could be against it, but we're not trying to impose it on you, Dan. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. They were so they just didn't tell the story. They actually, I mean, if you're if you're on Facebook, um, you, you can see it. Um, they actually like wrote out the invitations and wrote out her supposedly response with her phone number that with their phone allegedly number. was okay. Yeah. Give me a call. Yeah. So I mean, I know I think this really just trivializes the, the discrimination that we do go through on a daily basis, and you know, especially those of us who are parents, this is the kind of stuff we do worry about. It's like, God, we're gonna, are we going to have to deal with that one day? So I don't know. It's very I, upsetting. I think one of the things that it does is it shows that was totally believable that there'd be a parent out there like that. That's what I find a little bit upsetting. It is totally believable, yeah. But I don't know. It was a hoax. And last, um, have you seen Rosie O'Donnell lately? She looks great and noticeably thinner. She's lost over 40 pounds. Now, while addressing the Gold Red Luncheon uh, by the, sponsored by the Heart Association, American Heart Association, she announced that she had gastric bypass surgery last July. Wow. She's gone from uh, 230 pounds down to 190 so far. <laughs> Good part. She said she did it because um, it was going to save her life because, remember, in 2012, she had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. That's so, true. Yeah. So good for her. That's the same reason Josh went through gastric bypass. Um, you know, speaking of Facebook. You do, you do quite a lot, Josh. You got a lot going on. Seven kids, a wife, and you had gastric bypass. Mm -hmm. So speaking of Facebook, they've done something, something extraordinary this week. They did. Um, they have dramatically expanded their the options available for Facebook users to self-identify their gender. And so it's not the old binary world of male and female anymore. Um, and so it, I, I think it's tremendous that they're they are including options such as transgender, cisgender, gender fluid, intersex, neither. And, you know, and at various combinations. So you can go, if you're a Facebook user, you can go to your, uh, your personal settings and where it says male and female and, and gender, you can choose custom. And then custom. Once you click on that, then there's tr tremendous options available. But I think it's a I think it's a good uh, I hope a trend setting thing for people who work in data management of any kind in every industry um, to be able to um, you know allow a person to manage their um, or to accurately express. Well, that would assume gender. that other people in other businesses see Facebook. No, it it would not. I mean, like my industry went in healthcare. Kidding. Everybody okay. sees Facebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a bill. There's it, like a it's billion. It's pledge users. drive. I'm talking nonsense today. By this point, in our pledge drive, it's the third week of pledge drive. I make absolutely no sense. We know that about me. Um, no, I, I I think that's a great idea. So yeah, it, that's a great idea. It, and one of the things I like about it are the people that that will piss off. Oh really? And they already are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, Fox was just going on and on about it, how they, they were just totally baffled by the idea. Well, but you know, they still get their choices of male or female. They, why, they do. Is why it, is that a problem? It, They're not denied anything here. They can still live in their binary world. Because it interferes their with world. their right to discriminate. Right. <laughs> I, I just don't get that. It's well, like, and Fox still owns MySpace, so. <laughs> <laughs> are they bitter? They are bitter. <laughs> They're just bitter is what they are. <laughs> well, and this is KNON. We own nothing. We don't own our studio. We don't own our tower. We own nothing. So we have to rent all that stuff. And the way we rent it is through Pledge Drive. Uh, and we really do support the station through our Pledge Drive. We don't support the station through lots of commercial advertising. Um, oil companies, insurance companies, and drug companies do not run this station like the way, the way they run other non-commercial stations. Uh, so give us a call, support non-commercial uh, radio, KNON, 972-647-1893. Um, this has been a week of just great news, a lot of good news, but there has been a little bad news also. And it comes out of the state of Kansas, who just passed a bill, um, just in their house. The house. The house yeah. passed a bill that basically gives the right to discriminate against gays and lesbians in all kinds of ways. We're not just talking about the denial of uh, the ability to get married. We're talking about public accommodations. The measure would allow individuals, businesses, and religious groups with sincerely held religious beliefs to refuse to provide services, facility goods, employment or employment benefits related to marriage, civil union, domestic partnership, or a similar arrangement of a gay or lesbian couple. So what does that mean? 
if your house burns down and the firefighter doesn't want to, he doesn't have to put out your fire because you're gay. If you go walk into a restaurant and they figure out or notice that you're gay or lesbian, they can deny you services and tell you to leave. Things like that. It could be even that you're not even not even gay. Or yeah, LGBT. you could just be perceived. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, right. I, you know, I had to ask, are we in 2014 or 1914? See, I love this law, and I hope it passes. Uh, it's not going to because the leadership in the Kansas Senate has said this bill is not even going to come to the floor. So there are some sensible people in Kansas. and uh, Well, I hope a, they show it because right now it doesn't look like and it. And the leadership in the Kansas Senate is Republican. Um, I hope it passes because the Supreme Court ruling that strikes this down is going to give us more rights than those people this, ever thought of taking away from us. And this is why INDA is so important. Oh, and, uh, but course, this will give us. Enda. This will get. This will give us. This enda. will give us everything we've been fighting for. All those last remaining things that we haven't gotten yet. This will give it to us. It's that bad. It's that bad. Yeah. Uh, end of course is the Employment Non Discrimination Act, which and Patty, uh, help me out here. It's not just about employment. That's just the name of the bill. Uh, end up, but it also uh, covers. Um, services and stuff like that right that's not, not mm -mm. no it's, it doesn't and this is not now you're thinking you may be thinking of local ordinances that talk about employment public accommodations you know things like restaurants and hotels and right. all of that stuff but that's not an that's not in, okay and this is just about employment mm -hmm. right okay but there are separate i mean even texas we have a, a texas end we there are, i think in the next legislative session we're going to have a public accommodations bill um and the same in the in the federal in, in congress um, but the but ENDA would eliminate a lot of that discrimination because if we're included in that EEO list right. um, of, you know, of protected classes that you can't just you know willy nilly fire somebody simply because you don't like gay people or to even deny them employment right or promotions or right. or whatever um, then I think that will change a lot on our landscape for sure. Speaking of changing on our landscape, uh, the landscape of KNON is going to change if we don't start getting some calls here uh, <laughs> to support us. 972-647-1893. Uh, That's 972-647-1893. Um, at KNON lost 18 shows over the last couple of years, and that was because they didn't have the support during Pledge Drive. And some of those shows were old shows, like us. We were one of the original shows here. Uh, but with a lack of support, we're not going to stick around. 972-647-1893. Uh, one of the ways that you can support us is by uh, making a, how much is this donation? Is this 50? Yes, a $50 donation. It'll get you two tickets to the KNON Mardi Gras Gumbo Party on Sunday, March 2nd. Doors open at 5 p.m., serving from 5 to 7 p.m. at Poor David's Pub, located, located at 1313 South Lamar Street. So not only do you get live music, but you also get fed, because that's just what we do. You don't go to a KNON event without getting fed. It's kind of like go into Jewish services. You have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of, I have to share this quick anecdote. Um, Erin has, has spent a lot of time recently in um, Slidell, Louisiana with her parents. But um, her mom was in the hospital recently, and, she, and of course Erin was there. And um, she says the best gumbo she's ever had is in the hospital cafeteria. <laughs> I said it's probably somebody's Get grandma's wow. recipe. It's just people come in who don't have any business in the hospital. Um, come in to eat the gumbo wow. at the hospital. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Wow, so, no, no. That's, I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, at the KNO and Mardi Gras gumbo party, you can get gumbo from Amber Jacks, Bayou Jacks, Fishbone Grill, Pierre's, uh, Culpepper's, JJ's, and the Dallas Zoo. Ooh. So this is special gumbo that was made for the pandas. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to be at Poor David's Pub. And they thought it was awesome. Um, <laughs> A $50 pledge will get you two tickets. A $75 uh, pledge gets you a pair of tickets and a T-shirt. Uh, we need a credit or debit card on that one because um, it's coming up. And uh, in order to ensure that you get it in time for the party, need the credit card. 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. What you got? 
Well, probably the biggest news in, in Texas this week. We had a lot of good, great news in Texas. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is the biggest. But one of them is there was a <laughs> hearing this week on the lawsuits that have advanced in the federal courts um, and uh, pertaining to marriage equality in Texas. Mm-hmm. And for our listeners who don't know, in 2005, the, about 76% of voters in Texas at that time um, who came out to vote um, voted to add an, an, an amendment to the Texas Constitution banning same-sex relationships um, and certainly marriage, or anything similar, excuse me, similar or identical to marriage, which would include which mar- marriage. marriage. But, you know, that's so what we call a superdoma. Right. So Texas has a superdoma. So it's been almost an extra would be 10 years that this law has been in place. And so this um, a, a couple from Plano and a couple from Austin have, um, have filed suit and they got a hearing on um, Wednesday. Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. You know, what's interesting about that one. The Plano couple is trying to negate the whole marriage law. The Austin couple wants to do what the Kentucky lawsuit did, which was just have out-of-state marriages recognized. So both of those are in this lawsuit. Because it is a superdoma in Texas. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Um, but both of those are in this lawsuit. So a win on that one would be incredible. And a loss would probably be so poorly worded that nobody else will be able to quote it anyway. But there has been no ruling. There has no, been no ruling. No. Just judge or, uh, federal Judge Orlando Garcia, who used to be a member of the legislature here, mm. um, is, um, heard the case and um, will do a ruling at his bit, at his choice. Probably and, and you know the, what? Based on, based on his comments, I got a feeling he's, it's not going to go away. I, I don't think it's going to either. And because and what he said was, which is true, he said that regardless of how he rolls, is ultimately going to be decided by the Supreme Court. And he's right. Um, and some other comments that he made, it just kind of gave the feeling that he just didn't really want to have to be part of it. He didn't want to have to deal with it. Well, I suspect with all of these cases in the, the 10th Circuit, now in the 5th Circuit, Louisiana, so there's been a challenge um, filed in, the, in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Um, a- it, Alab- did you say Alabama also? Oh, no, I didn't. Has yeah, Alabama added? Alabama just filed a lawsuit this week also. So, I mean, we're, we're, and we're getting surrounded. I mean, New Mexico has marriage they equality. They already have it. And Oklahoma. Kind of Oklahoma has it, too. <laughs> the only place we're not going to have to build a wall is that little corner that goes to Arkansas. Right. 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 <laughs> so we need to keep those Oklahoma liberals. Speaking of Oklahoma liberals, Al McCaffrey filed to run for the U.S. House of Representatives. Al awesome. is a, Al's uh, openly gay, uh, represents Oklahoma City. He's a state senator. He was a state legislator. Now he's running for U.S. House. It's an Good. open seat, uh, and he's well liked. And he's sort of the area. Tammy Baldwin of you know of Wisconsin. And so what's happened to what happened to her is happening to to him as well. When he left his seat in the Oklahoma House, an LGBT person from the same district won that seat, and he advanced to the state senate. Mm-hmm. So now. I guess when he's running for Congress, maybe someone, an LGBT person from his district will um, take one of those seats. They'll, actually, the tile game. Actually, you know? there's talk of, um, oh, what's his name? He used to be a, an Oklahoma County. Jim Roth. Jim Roth is talking about running for that seat. So, <laughs> so yes. Go, Jim. Go, Al. Can you imagine living in that district? My congressman's gay. My state senator is gay. My uh, um, representative. state representative is a lesbian. <laughs> Doesn't and, the, one way to make that happen here is by pledging to KNON because it is pledge drive nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Okay, slid so, right into that. Yeah, I did, uh, and, and it's actually not true. That won't help because we don't take sides on elections. But uh, Al has been Senator Al McCaffrey has been a guest on the yeah, show. He's been on the show. show. Yeah, he has many been times, and we hope he'll come back. He said to me last time I saw him. He said he would uh, yeah. next time he's in town on a weekend. Okay. Um, so yes. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. Doc is standing by. Phones are not ringing. Give us a call because our pledge drive, the station's pledge drive, is okay. Ours isn't. That's not good for us. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. We're the oldest, longest running gay and lesbian radio show on anywhere in the world. It's LGBT radio show anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we've been very inclusive in this show. We have been. So, um, 972-647-1893. Um, and again, you can call with whatever you have. 
if you have a hundred bucks or fifty bucks and you want one of these great um, items that come with that, that's awesome. But if you don't, we can still we still welcome it. We still need mm -hmm. you. We still need you to call and help out whatever you can. You know, fifteen, twenty dollars, whatever. Nine seven two six four seven one eight nine three. And if you're listening later in the week to the podcast or the or the video cast. Uh, you can still pledge. Go to knon.org and click on Pledge Now and and fill out the form and be sure to include Lambda Weekly or that queer show or, you know, <laughs> LW. That'll yep. that'll get it to us. Um, and we appreciate your support. You can pledge online. Another thing you can do is um, do a monthly bank draft. The KNON bank draft, uh, just call us now. Tell us you'd like to start a bank draft. You can do it with checking or savings account. It's an automatic monthly draft. It's fast. It's easy. Uh, the station will arrange it to you, uh, with you. All we need is your name and your phone number. And I guess Christian in the, uh, in the office here gives you a call, sets it up with you. Uh, but it's real easy to do. 972-647-1893. Uh, That's, oh, uh, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, Doc is telling us, no, no, don't answer that phone. Okay. Because that's their phone line. 972-647-1893. That's 972-647-1893. At this rate, we're going to be doing pledge drive through, like, next pledge drive. Uh, <laughs> 972-647-1893. Support Gay and Lesbian Radio on the station that, that really invented Gay and Lesbian Radio. Um, it just didn't exist anywhere before KNON came along in 1983. Uh, and this is our 30th anniversary, so a $30 pledge would be most welcome, and a $30 monthly draft would be especially welcome. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a great way to honor, um, you know, the past work of the LGBT community and past members of the LGBT community. Um, if you'd like to, you know, celebrate in memoriam or in honor of somebody, uh, you can do that too and uh, call in your pledge and we'll announce that on the air and um, it's, it's a great way to share um, and support 972-647-1893 972-647-1893 doc is standing by even after the show ends you can still give us a call and make that pledge and just, again just make sure you say it's for the lambda weekly show the gay show the lw show however you want to refer to it, the money will go to us. 972-647-1893. And we'll be around a few minutes after the show if you'd like to call after we go off the air because I know you couldn't stand not listening to Lauren and Patty for even the two minutes it takes to make the call. 972-647-1893. 972-647-1893. We'll see you next week. KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. Business owners, tell KNON's listeners about your business. You can put your business or event on KNON. KNON currently has space available to run announcements for you. Tell KNON's listeners about your goods, services, nightclub, concert, or event. Help keep the voice of the people on the air while putting your information on the air. KNON's been named the number one radio station in Dallas by both the Dallas Observer and D Magazine. Put your business with Dallas's number one station. Call now for more information at 214-828-9500, extension 227 or extension 233. For more information, go to KNON.org and click on the Run Spots on KNON page. It's a great way for your business to support community radio while letting more people know about you.